I almost got murdered one time because of a Larave. That's a true story. Why does no one want to buy Larave's? not buy these guitars. This is a Larravee LV-10. This is an absolutely stunning guitar. Incredible, top of the line. Look how iridescent and just beautiful that abalone is. A tiny detail I love about Larravee is that they've always leaned into the more blue and green abalones instead of just that bright champagne-y bright stuff. And this thing is absolutely amazing. Larivase, if you don't know, there's a long story to them, and I do not know the whole story, but I have watched them from a distance over the last 20 years. I almost got murdered one time because of a Larive. That's a true story. I had somebody say, hey, buddy, only you, me, and Jesus know you're here. And that was while I was trying to buy a Larive OM9. I bought that guitar. I did not get murdered, as you can tell that I'm here. But I learned some painful lessons about how to buy used guitars at that point. But... Whoever sold Larve has done a really good job to sell them to people that don't stick with playing guitar. At least, that is anecdotally my experience. I have purchased every Larve that I can. I've probably owned 10 or 12 at this point. And uh, this one came to me through a subscriber that watches my channel and wanted me to talk about Larve, give my perspective, my opinion on them as a brand, as a guitar, as how they fit into guitar culture as I know it and have experienced it. This one is absolutely the flagship. I mean, there are a little better, a little prettier. Uh, this one still has the logo on the headstock. A lot of the other ones will have the, like the mermaid is very popular. I've seen some birds. I've seen other things inlaid on them, but this is their L shape. And uh, let's talk about this guitar. This one is absolutely, this is some of the best quality spruce I've ever seen in my life. It is deep and rich and uniform and has a bold grain pattern to it. Uh, so this is a red spruce top. On the back and sides, it's East Indian rosewood. 
It is a jet black ebony. Actually, it's not jet black. It's a very dark piece of ebony with a little bit of sap lines uh, in the bridge with the abalone inlay. This beautiful dark ebony fingerboard. And it's this L shape. It's this really beautiful round shoulder and this soft cutaway. Now, one thing that is interesting, there's this tiny little detail here. There's this little shoulder up here that uh, for whatever reason, just the way they build their guitars, they're a little square up here. When I think about Larivates, when I find one, when I get to play one, I get filled with this really warm joy in my heart. And uh, it's, it's interesting because there are a million guitar brands that have been around a lot, but something about Larivate just speaks to me and I really enjoy their guitars. I love the little subtle details. Like they have this logo. It's a tiny little design detail that makes me feel like I belong or that I'm connected to their guitars. I found Larave when I was probably 19 or 20 and I it brings me back to really wonderful times in my own life when I was first working at a guitar shop and really starting to pay attention to hand-built and boutique guitars and I started finding these popping up mostly on the other side of the mountains in the Shenandoah Valley to me, towards Charlottesville, towards like the flatter part of Virginia, out towards the coast. Um, I started finding these guitars, DO3s, LO3s, um, some OMs. I started finding more affordable versions of these guitars and I, I just loved how great they sounded and I didn't know much about them, but they were made in Canada, but they sounded way better and played better than Seagulls and they were affordable. I could find them under 500 bucks. And so for me, Larivate was this kind of like exciting secret that I found. These incredible guitars at great prices that I, just a normal college student working in a guitar shop, paying my way through school, I could still find them and buy them along the way. And uh, I signed up for their newsletter and that's when I found they do this whole other thing. I don't know if they still do it, but for years, they would sell leather goods. And so for years, I have worn a belt that has the Larave symbol on it. They are not imitating other brands. They're not like, oh, this is our D18. This is our D42. They're not copying Martin or Gibson or any of the big guys. They're taking cues, but one of the things that I find so compelling is that while they're not imitating, they are uh, interpreting. They are interpreting guitar culture and designs, round shoulder, X bracing, smaller shapes, and they're pulling those together into guitars that are new and unique and brilliant and wonderful. So why does no one buy these? Well, it seems like they've had really good coverage. They're all around the country. When I was in New Orleans, I would find them every single week. Uh, I would find them on the local Facebook marketplace or Craigslist. And so for years, that's where I probably bought 10 or 12 of them. I'd buy DO3s, found a ton of those. And I would buy them and I would keep them and I would just swear by how great they were. And then someone inevitably would play them at a party or at church or at our house. And uh, they would find and just be like, this is amazing. What is this guitar? I've never even heard of this brand. And uh, then they would say, hey, can I buy this? I want to own this guitar. There is this faithful, loyal bed of coals, this group of people that love these guitars and know how incredible they are. Now, this one is a $3,500 used example. Knew this was five to six. And uh, it's absolutely worth that. If you compare it to other guitars that are at that price range with this you know, set of features, it's really shocking. Um, 
And uh, it just is an absolute world-class, monstrously great fingerstyle guitar. So I think that this is one of the most criminally underrated brands. I don't get it, I don't understand it, and I'm here to fight against it. I want you right now to just look on your Facebook Marketplace, look on Craigslist, see if you can find a Larave. Now they have gotten more expensive, DO2s, O3s, LO3s, those have all gotten to $1,000 to $1,200 they're way better than that. They're still a great deal at that. They were an excellent deal when I was getting them at like 600 bucks, 500 bucks. And I knew, I knew secret knowledge that no one knew was that they were absolutely excellent and that they were going to be worth more. So do yourself a favor, set up a Google alert. Uh, don't use Reverb, Reverb sucks. Use uh, Sweetwater um, or use other of your searching platforms of choice and uh, see if you can find a Larave that would, um, just be with you and live a long life with you. So where is this guitar going? What's happening to this guitar? This guitar is going to one of my dearest friends, one of my oldest mentors, a friend. I worked for him. Uh, he volunteered with the ministry that I was involved in. He is still one of my confidants when I need wisdom and advice and help. Uh, in the process of growing this guitar channel, as I've been going freelance and leaving a full-time job, uh, this guy has been there every step of the way and his wife reached out to me and said, hey, I have this amount of money, which was nowhere close to what this guitar is worth. Uh, that sounds bad, but it just was not what she wanted. His wife reached out and asked what guitars I had and I had this and I just knew that this guitar needed to go to him. She wanted to find a guitar that is exceptional. She wanted to find a guitar that people would would know that it's a very cool and very special guitar. And so for me, that is exactly where this one has to go. So do yourself a favor, find some Larravees, put your hands around them uh, and prepare your heart and your mind and your wallet because they are absolutely great. I have no horse in this race. This guitar is already sold. I don't sell Larravees. I don't have an affiliate relationship with any companies that do sell Larravees. I do, but I'm, I might do it. I don't know. Let me know in the description down below if, if I do. But I love this guitar, and I think it is absolutely shameful that not that more people don't know, love, play, own, keep, collect, uh, and want to just be near and close to guitars like this. So, thanks for watching this video. I'm Jeremy. I'm the Guitar Hunter, and uh, this is a Larave. This is an absolutely stunning guitar.